this is my unboxing video. Not only do I have a phone to unbox, I have its Defender Kit, and a bonus. The bonus I will do after this phone, because later I have another phone to unbox as well. I am recording right now, child. I'm going to have to like edit all this out. I am recording. I'm gonna have to edit all this talk out because, yeah. Thank you. Alright. This is the unboxing of the Pixel XL from Google. You can get it through Project Pi and through Google. And as excited as I have been to get my new phone, I have not yet opened it. Because I was waiting for this. You can tell by all the flip and tape. Can they give me bubble wrap. All that's in the box. And they have this little Project Fi card that's in there. And this, I believe, has my SIM card in it. And then the phone is in this box. It's a big Pixel box. Pixel powered by Google. And FYI, I ordered this thing like three days ago and it's already here. So that's really amazing for how quickly they work. I slid off the top cover and now let's see this thing is supposed to open. Okay, we're gonna have to pop open the side. So it flips open, and then we have foam, and we have the charger block. And unfortunately, it's not a regular USB charger, it's a USB-C, so it's whatever these are. We've got one end in the block, the rest of it. I do like that they take good care to make sure that it's rolled properly before they send it out. the phone out of here. Also underneath the phone is this little booklet and a cord to hook it up to USB so that I can hook it up to the computer. And then it has something else in here. What is this? Oh, cool. So it's got one so you can hook USB into it as well. Also, by the way, just so people know, this is the 128 gigabyte version. I know, lots of storage. Ah! Okay, go back over there. This is not the time for Lady Reveal. It's actually a really nice background. So, now, slide off this cover. Let you peel it up. That's the phone. Mine came in quite black. It's got a 5.5 inch screen. It's very sleek. It's also one of the phones that has this tiny little lock pin, which means it's a lot harder for somebody to steal your phone. Also, if you lose that, just no. 
don't don't lose that. Take take that advice. Also, as we're looking, I'm going to start reading off some specs about this and a little bit about what they say. Pixel XL's 128 gigabyte version meet your Google Assistant. Pixel brings you the Google Assistant. You can ask it questions, tell it to do things. It's your own personal Google, always ready to help. Just start with, okay, Google. It's got a lifetime of memories in your pocket. You've unlimited online storage for your photos and videos from Google Photos. You'll never have to delete an old memory to make room for a new one. And Pixel helps, uh, everything keeps everything safe and secure. Photos, videos, music, contacts, texts, and more. One of the highest rated smartphone cameras in the world. You can take amazing photos and videos even in low light. Every moment, every memory captured in bright, beautiful detail. Google Duo is video calling made easy. Made easy. Duo brings you face to face with the people who matter most across Android and iPhone so you're always in touch. With the knock knock feature, you can even see the caller before you pick up. Play more, say more, do more. Easy and fast to use. Pixel provides a clean, low-free experience with no unwanted apps. And for a quick charge, the USB-C charger gives it to 7 hours of battery life in just 15 minutes. You can outfit it with cases, cords, more. As far as actual specs, the operating system is Android 7.1 Nougat, the latest Android OS. It's got 2 years of service of OS updates and 3 years of security updates. The display is 5.5 inch AM OLED and the Pixel XL has the immersive QHD with 2560 by 14, 1440 in size and 534 PBI display, cinematic widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio, Corning Gorilla Glass 4 for durability, fingerprint and smudge resistant, oleophobic coating, its cameras has a rear 12.3 megapixel camera, front is an 8 megapixel camera, the rear camera produces exceptional image quality. Let's see. It's got 240 frames per second, full HD 120 frames per second, slow motion video. Natural broad, natural broad spectrum CRI90 dual LED flash. It's got a front camera. The 8 megapixel camera produces exceptional Im image clarity, light sensitive, uh, 1.4 pixels for clear video photos in low light, bright photos and sharp focus with 2.4 aperture, clear filming through full HD video capture. The processor, it's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon. 821 processor. It's fast, powerful, efficient, energy efficient Qualcomm Snapdragon 821. 2.15 gigahertz, 1.6 gigahertz. 64 bit quad core processor. Rich graphics with an Adreno 530 GPU. Memory and storage, 4 gigs of RAM. Storage, I've got the 128 gigabyte version. RAM's 4 gigabytes for seamless multitasking. Internal storage, 128 gigabytes. Limited online storage for photos and videos. The Pixel XL is 6.09 inches by 2.98 inches. It is 0.29 inches tall. It weighs 5.92 ounces. The colors it comes in are very silver and then the quite black like I have and then when you use your little key it unlocks the SD spot or the SIM card slot over here in the side. This little tiny key opens that up and without that key you cannot get into that little section right there. <clears throat> So, let's see, it does have a bottom firing speaker with three microphones, crisp sound quality. It's got a single bottom firing speaker, 
We've got adaptive audio amplifier to maximize speaker performance and durability. Three microphones, two in the front and one in the rear with noise cancellation. It's got a 3450 mile battery. Its standby time is up to 456 hours. Talk time up to 26 hours. You can literally talk on this thing for over a full day and not run out of battery. And to me, that's kind of amazing. Just saying. Um, I just popped out my card so that I can activate this in a moment, so that I can actually use my awesome phone. making sure that I didn't need to keep the SIM card out of the phone to be able to use it. And then this just slides right back in here and push it all the way until it clicks. And then you can't even feel that it was ever there. And then you can use this internet or regular for 13 hours. Video playback is up to 13 hours. Audio playback is up to 110 hours. So if you're just playing back audio or you're sitting there like listening to Kindle audiobooks or anything, you can sit there for 110 straight hours and just listen to your books. That's days. Days. 24 hours in a day got like five days right there. Four or five anyway. The standby time on the XL is 552 hours. This is amazing. Talk time up to 32 and 32 hours on the XL. All of that is amazing, I'm not even gonna lie. And on top of that, I went ahead and got protection for it. I'm also going to unbox that as I turn on my phone. This is our screen that you get as you load. It's a Google Home screen. So while that boots up for the first time, I'm going to open up my OtterBox in the Defender series. And the OtterBox for this is amazing. Now I'm going to turn this over here because, I'm sorry, I can't let all my, you know, uh, regular stuff get shown online, so. That and I would get in a lot of trouble if I shared her internet password, so. Suddenly, the OtterBox has a belt clip, like most. This one also doubles as a kickstand, so I can pop it up. Well, it would help if there was actually weight in there. This is also kind of loud. Hmm. So my question is, how the heck am I supposed to put this in there? And I got 
to grab my charge cord for my old phone because another awesome thing about the Pixel that I'm going to actually show if I can find my other cord. Actually, you know what? I have a cord right here in front of me. Well, what am I doing? What am I doing? Cord, or this little connector I can hook into this right here. This is a charger for my old phone. So I'm um, currently old phone which needed replacing before things shattered is currently being hooked into my pixel. Now it's connected and it's literally, not only is it charging my other phone, it's literally going through and copying all my stuff, all my accounts, everything. That's amazing. to privacy site, drop that down just in case. So I'm copying everything from one phone to the other. And it's trying to give me the remaining time. So far it doesn't say, but... While it's copying, I can still work on my other stuff. It's amazing. Skip putting in a fingerprint for now. Just because I still have to put it in my outer box, and I want to make sure that when it's in the outer box, it gets the fingerprints that way. Now I get to teach my phone my voice. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Now it knows my voice. And this only has like four minutes left to copy my entire life on the last like year and a half from my old phone. That's amazing. Alright, since it didn't want to add to the last video, my bonus, which now is no longer an unboxing but a reveal, is my fidget spinner also came in the house today from GT Live! Thank you, GT Live. You guys are amazing. Currently unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus from Xfinity Mobile. It even tells us to have a happy unboxing. Let's see. Hide that. Since it's got an address on it, we don't want that shown. The wait is over. 
Ready, set, activate. Sims pre-installed on Android. It's even though he's my man and everything, I don't want you know the the lack of privacy. Oh, it's not working anyway. So. There's the box it comes in. S8 plus. This little thing is heavy. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I think heavier than mine. A little while ago. This part slides off. I don't need an extra set of hands. Hey, look there! Magically an extra set of hands. And then it folds open. Activate now. And the S8 Plus, it has an all-around screen. So it has edge to edge. To give people like the widest possible screen. It's got little adapters. That's cool. Mine didn't come with that. I'm kind of sad now. His has one that looks like it goes from micro USB to the C port, and that's just not fair. I did get one of these with mine. And his charger box. And then I think probably under here he's got a cord. He's got a cord and headphones. What the hey? That's so not fair. I foresee me jacking headphones in the near future. Let's see. Those are extra buds for the headphones. His cord. Yeah, I definitely see, foresee myself stealing these in the very near future. My friends on Discord will understand why. also has the cool little key except his is not round I'm trying to see if it's got the specs in here so I don't have to like add audio to this later yes it does saving me time allowing me to cheat just a little bit. Meet your new phone. The S8 Plus. It's a map of the hardware. You get the micro SD card tray, front camera, iris scanner, power lock, edge screen, USB port charger, headset jack, edge screen, Bixby, volume. On the back, you've got your flash, rear camera, and fingerprint scanner. Edge screen instructions. Use the edge screen for fast and easy access to people, information, and apps. From the home screen, swipe up for apps and then tap the settings button, display, and then edge screen. You can do an apps edge, a people edge, and a smart select. Create shortcuts to access frequently used apps. See notifications of missed calls and messages from your important contacts. Capage, capture images and give animations. Hello Bixby. To launch Bixby, press the Bixby key. It allows you to quickly set reminders, create voice dictation, search, and access content on your phone on the internet. And then, those are everything for the setup. I'm talking about charging it and activating it and powering it. Screen basics, Xfinity Mobile, and voicemail. So unfortunately this doesn't have all the specs on it right now. So I will have to go and add those in, but this also does, believe, if I believe correctly, has the Gorilla Glass and everything else. Let's see if I can find it anywhere else. It's got terms and conditions and everything, but I'm trying to find just literally just the actual specifications. And I don't see them. So I will pick this up when I get back home. Currently unboxing 
the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus from Xfinity Mobile. It even tells us to have a happy unboxing. Let's see. Hide that, since it's got an address on it. We don't want that shown. The wait is over. Ready, set, activate. Sims pre-installed on Android. It's even though he's my man and everything, I don't want, you know, the the lack of privacy. Oh, it's not working anyway. So. There's the box it comes in. S8 Plus. This little thing is pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I think, heavier than mine. A little while ago. This part slides off. Don't need an extra set of hands. Hey, look at there! Magically an extra set of hands. And then it folds open. Activate now. And the S8 Plus, it has an all-around screen. So it has edge to edge. To give people like the widest possible screen. It's got little adapters. That's cool. Mine didn't come with that. I'm kind of sad now. His has one that looks like it goes from micro USB to the C port, and that's just not fair. I did get one of these with mine. And his charger box. And then I think probably under here, he's got a cord. He's got a cord and headphones. What the hey? That's so not fair. I foresee me jacking headphones in the near future. Let's see. Those are extra buds for the headphones. His cord. Yeah, I definitely see, foresee myself stealing these in the very near future. My friends on Discord will understand why. His also has the cool little key, except his is not round. I'm trying to see if it's got the specs in here so I don't have to like add audio to this later. Yes, it does! Saving me time. Allowing me to cheat just a little bit. Meet your new phone. The S8 Plus. It's a map of the hardware. You get the micro SD card tray, front camera, iris scanner, power lock, edge screen, USB port charger, headset jack, edge screen, Bixby, volume. On the back, you got your flash, rear camera, and fingerprint scanner. Edge screen instructions. Use the edge screen for fast and easy access to people, information, and apps. From the home screen, swipe up for apps and then tap the settings button, display, and then edge screen. You can do an apps edge, a people edge, and a smart select. Create shortcuts to access frequently used apps. See notifications of missed calls and messages from your important contacts. Capage, capture images and give animations. Hello Bixby. To launch Bixby, press the Bixby key. It allows you to quickly set reminders, create voice dictation, search and access content on your phone on the internet. And then, those are everything for the setup. Talking about charging it and activating it and powering it. Screen basics, Xfinity Mobile, and voicemail. So unfortunately this doesn't have all the specs on it right now. So I will have to go and add those in, but this also does, believe, if I believe correctly, has the Gorilla Glass and everything else. Let's see if I can find it anywhere else. Let's 
got terms and conditions and everything, but I'm trying to find just literally just the actual specifications. And I don't see them. So I will pick this up when I get back home. Okay, just recording the last bit of my unboxing and we're talking about the perks and things of the S8 Plus. It's got the world's first infinity string. It's expansive display stretches from edge to edge, giving you the most amount of screen. It's got amazing photos in low light. It has an enhanced front-facing camera so you can take better, clearer selfies. And as far as for the different processors and actual specs, processor speed and type is an MSM8998 octa-core 2.35 gigahertz quad-core plus 1.9 gigahertz quad. The display main display resolution is a 2960 by 1440 quad HD plus. Main display size is 6.2 inches, 158.1 millimeter full rectangle, 6.1 inches, 154.5 millimeter rounded corners. Main display technology is dual super edge, dual edge super AMO LED. Color depth is 16M. Camera resolution on the front is 8 megapixel. Camera resolution, dual pixel on the rear is 12 megapixel. Video recording resolution is UHD 4K. 3480 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. Main camera flash, yes. Main camera autofocus, yes. Memory, the internal memory has 64 gigabytes of ROM, 4 gigabytes of RAM. External memory, micro SD capacity, micro SD up to 256 gigabytes. Let's see. Got an ear jack and 3.5 millimeter stereo. Wi-Fi Direct, yes. NFC, yes. Smart Switch OS, Android 7.0 Nougat. Form factor, yes. Touch bar, sensor type. And it's got an accelerometer, barometer, fingerprint, uh, sensor, gyroscope, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, hall sensor, HR sensor, iris sensor, pressure, pressure sensor, proximity sensor, sensor, RGB light sensor. The size, its weight is 173 grams. Product dimensions in inches are 2.89 inches by 6.28 inches by 0.32 inches. Battery talk time on this phone is up to 34 hours. Battery size and type is 3500 mAh, non-removable. Music play type, the AOD on, it's up to 58 hours. AOD off, up to 99 hours. Video play time, up to 20 hours. Internet use time, 3G, up to 14 hours. LTE, up to 16 hours. Wi-Fi, up to 15 hours. Audio playing format, it plays MP3s, MP4A, or M4As, 3GA, AAC, OGG, OGA, WAV, WMA, AMR, AWB, FLAC, MID, MIDI, XMF, XMF, X, MXMF, IMY, RTTTL, RCX, OTA, DFF, DSF. Video playing formats are MP4, M4V, 3GP, 3G2, WMV, ASF, AVI, FLV, MKV, WebM. The resolution is UHD 4K, 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames per second. We've got Samsung DEX support, gear manager and has a whole bunch of other amazing perks to it. So that is our summary of different features of the Galaxy S8 Plus.